Hello, welcome to the video for what is volume, the physics volume. I've gone ahead, I've created a quick example here. The physics volume is like all the other volumes, you can't actually see it. I have created just a simple semi-transparent box so we can actually see what the volume encompasses. If I go and run this and move my little character into it, if I jump, you'll notice he slowly floats back down. If I was to move out of it and jump, you'll notice the normal jumping speed. And that's because I've changed one of the properties of our physics volume. So the physics volume is intended to allow you to change the physics inside the volume. It's pretty simple. For the most part, it's used for like faking gravity, or you could use it to simulate water with a quick and easy checkbox. In terms of the settings, you have your normal brush settings. You can change your shape to any of the other builder blocks and change your size appropriately. Now, the character movement is what's going to be unique for this option. We have our terminal velocity. This basically term determines the speed at which you're going to fall. By default, it's going to be 4,000. There we go. And if we run this again, you're going to notice normal jump, and you'll notice pretty much the same thing inside. Lower this down, it's basically going to simulate gravity. If I was to change this to zero, well, what you'd expect would happen. Nothing. There is no gravity, which means my character will not fall down. So you can adjust this if you want to simulate a low amount of gravity. Let's change this back to something like 4,000 by default. And below that we have our priority. Basically, if you have overlapping physics volumes, the higher the number is a higher priority. Maybe you wanted to have a low gravity outside of a pool of water, so you would set your gravity maybe to a higher volume and your water to be a lower volume. Below that we have our fluid friction. This determines how much friction it is when we walk through the item. Right now you notice there's nothing changing. If I was to change this to a higher value, and run it. It will slow down my character when it's walking through it. It's not very apparent, it has to be a higher number, but basically that determines if you want, maybe you turn on a physics volume simulating a sandstorm and you want your character to walk through slower, this is an easy way of doing it. Now the last option is the water volume. This is simply a toggle, but it makes a very big change to your volume itself. Now you'll notice when I let go of the keyboard, my character stops, but if I do it the same thing inside my fluid volume, it's going to slide right through it. It's basically simulating like this is a volume of water. So I have no real control in terms of starting and stopping because you don't really have control when you're in water. If you notice, it feels like I'm kind of sliding around. It's a nice way to simulate ice, for example. Now, outside I can jump. If I'm inside, I no longer can jump. Once you go inside of the physics volume, it does not allow you to drop. Sorry, it does not allow you to jump if you are using a character controller. If you notice, I kind of float through it, which is nice, basically just like water, coasting through. So keep that in mind. You cannot jump inside of a water physics volume. If you wish to swim, basically you'd have to determine if your character is inside the physics volume and then make it where your swim button gives it a slight impulse to simulate a swim motion up or down. You do not automatically get water sw water swimming controls if you're inside of a phys physics volume set as water. All it does is change some preset parameters to make it where you're sliding and you can no longer jump. So that is it. Those are all the options on your physics volume. Go ahead and use it. Like, for example, drop it inside of a pool of water, change some settings, make it where your character can swim. Boom, you have a pool. Put it outside, for example, on a lake and you can simulate swimming very easily by turning it into a water volume and then adjusting it where it's a little impulse for a jump. You can make it where it simulates outer space. They walk outside, you change the terminal velocity down to something like 10, and then now they have moon jumps. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.